guys, I am doing my typical roasted potatoes. And honestly, I just thought to myself, I might as well do a really quick video to show you guys how you could do rustic roasted potatoes. It is super easy to do. Um, I don't really think much about what I put in. It's usually just whatever um, vegetables I have on hand that are good for roasting. So I've chopped up a bunch of potatoes. Um, you can use any type that you'd like. Um, sweet potato, white, russet. You could peel them, you could not peel them. I personally do not like to peel them. And then I rough chop some onions and I drop them in. And I was going to put two onions, but this looks good enough because to be honest with you, my children don't really love onions. So maybe I'll just do one. I get baby carrots because I'm not somebody that loves to peel carrots. So I sort of cheat with my baby carrots. Pop in a whole bag, or in this case, whatever I have left over. Spread everything around. Pry my eyes out when I chop the onion. Ooh. And then I'm ducking because I'm trying to stay in. I literally have to move this. Okay, so now we're going to salt and pepper. So I just go around the whole thing once and you know it, it's you need a good chunk of salt for pep for potatoes. Um, I hit it with some pepper as well. Of course you do some olive oil and this is just a soft drizzle. If you're a measuring person, I don't know, a couple tablespoons until you feel you can give it a good toss. And then if you have oregano, or in my case, I like to use um, tzatziki seasoning because I'm from Astoria. There's a lot of Greeks in Astoria. And I just really give it a great sprinkle. And then before anything else, I fill about a half of the tray with water. And I know you're saying, why would you do that? It gives it a softer, I can't explain it. It's just a better type of potato if you do it this way. I'm in my pajamas. You get me how I am. This is real dinner. So you sort of mix everything around. Let me show you what it looks like. You want to put that in, and here's the water. You see the water? It's, it's, it's about half the tray. So you put that in. Um, 425 degrees for about 50 minutes and um, if the water completely goes away I sometimes I might even go back in and put a little bit more depending how I want this is a really packed um, dish I would normally not pack it this much I would probably put a little bit less but I'm a family of five and I don't really feel like cleaning two trays um, in the true sense of the form you shouldn't have it this pack thing should be a little bit more spread apart usually what I would do is I would cut a, a potato into four pieces and lay them flat and then they have their, their their space to grow and cook and sort of darken but this way not every corner of the potato is gonna brown um, but enough of it is surfaced on top that it will so that's it you put it in and you're done and this is basically your starch and your vegetable because I put the carrots in there and then a little side salad and whatever your protein is and you're good to go